Good morning. Welcome to Children's Chapel. Um, today, we're going to be talking about the celebration of Passover, which is called Pentecost. That's what we're celebrating this weekend. Um, and Pentecost was, or Passover, was when God passed through Egypt and freed all of the the people, his people, from slavery. On this holiday, many years ago, after Jesus, um, something amazing happened to his disciples, and they knew that it was God. Can you think of anything amazing that has happened that you knew was God? God is powerful, and he can show up in so many ways, and sometimes... There are just ways that are so obvious that it's him. Can you think of one of those times? I love that you listed off some of those, those times that you saw God. Um, and now we're going to go into prayer and thank God for some of those amazing times. So bow your head with me and we're going to pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for your power and the amazing miracles that you give us and the Holy Spirit that helps us know that you are there. Lord, thank you for your gift of the Holy Spirit and help us to be aware of him and where he is. Amen. Now we're going to read some scripture from the book of Acts. So if you have your Bible, I would love for you to turn with me. And we're going to go to Acts 2, 1 through 21. So, when the day of Pentecost had arrived, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like that of a violent rushing wind came from heaven, and it filled the whole house where they were staying. And tongues like flames of fire that were divided appeared to them and rested on each one of them. Then they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different languages, as the Spirit gave them the ability for speech. There were Jews living in Jerusalem, devout men from every nation under heaven. When this sound occurred, the multitude came together and was confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. Then they were astounded and amazed, saying, Look, aren't all these who are speaking Galileans? How is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, those who live in Mesopotamia, in Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and parts of Libya near Cyrene. Visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, we hear them speaking in our own languages and the magnificent acts of God. And they were astounded and perplexed, saying to one another, What could this be? But some sneered and said, They're full of new wine. But Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed to them, Jewish men and all you residents of Jerusalem, let this be known to you and pay attention to my words. For these people are not drunk as you suppose, since it's only nine in the morning. On the contrary, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. And it will be the, in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all humanity. Then your sons and daughters will prophesy, your young men will see visions, and your old men will dream dreams. I will even pour out my spirit on my male and female slaves in those days, and they will prophesy. I will display wonders in the heaven above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and a cloud of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the great and remarkable day of the Lord comes. Then whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So on this Pentecost holiday many years ago, the thing that these disciples had been waiting for finally happened. They had read that scripture and they knew what was coming and they knew God's promise for them. Um, and it happened and the Holy Spirit came upon them and their tongues were all different. They all spoke a different language, but they all understood each other. And they were shocked and amazed and they knew that it was God and they, they knew that it was the Holy Spirit pouring through them. They knew that this was a command from God to go off and continue to disciple to people. Even, even if they can't communicate, they would have the Holy Spirit to be able to speak through them. And that's such an important part of our discipleship as well. Um, so 
we have a couple questions and I'd love for you to just answer these amongst yourselves. You can answer them to your parents. You can talk about them with your siblings. Um, the first one is, what are things that Jesus said to his disciples to tell people? What did he command us to, to share with the world? Um, I'll give you a second to answer that. We see in the book of Matthew, at the very end of the book, as Jesus is going back up into heaven to live with God, he commands us a couple of things. Um, the first being, well, there's obviously the greatest commandment, which is to love others and love God more than you love yourself. And that's such an important one um, that we just need to go off and love people. And that's a really big, big part of our faith. Um, we also, at the very end of Matthew, it tells us to go off and disciple in the name of the Holy Spirit and to do so for God's glory. Um, and he'll be with us till the end of the age. That's actually my favorite verse. Um, and so I think that's a really important command for us to follow. The second question is how do we know that the followers did that? Like, how do we know that they went off and did exactly what Jesus told them to do? Um, and I'll let you answer this for a second. So in this passage that we just read, it, it shows Peter standing up and sharing with the rest of the residents of Jerusalem, he says, and he proclaimed to them, Jewish men and all you residents of Jerusalem, let this be known to you and pay attention to my words. So in this moment, even while they're all confused by themselves, they are using that and using the Holy Spirit to proclaim and prophesy to the rest of Jerusalem. And that's such an important part of our faith is proclaiming and pro prophesying. Um, and the last question is, how can we do that? How can we, as as disciples nowadays, go off and do that? And that's one that I think I'll let you decide for yourselves. How can you go off and share the gospel? And to close us off today, we're going to turn to the person next to us, our fellow disciples and our fellow followers of Jesus, and we're going to thank them for, for following Jesus and for being a good disciple, and we're going to encourage them to go off into the world and spread this, this proclamation of joy. Um, so turn to your neighbor and tell them thank you and encourage them. And then we're going to close with a quick prayer. So will you please bow your heads with me. Dear Jesus, thank you for the Holy Spirit. Um, Lord, thank you for your spirit that will go off into the world with us and encourage us and give us the confidence to share who you are and your truth with all the people of the world. Lord, we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye! Bye, Bye John's Memorial! And we will see you all soon. Alright, bye, bye everybody! Bye. Take care. Bye. It's an indeed. Hallelujah. Peace be with you. Peace, Peace be, be with you. you. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for Bye. joining us.